think I'm going to have to harvest my spinach tomorrow. And I know this looks like a kale. But this is a blue, I think it's blue lake spinach. Anyways, I will continue, continue to always grow this. I mean, it has been wonderful. You can see my kale back there that's going to seed. I got a lot of lettuce to harvest too. We just come out here every day and we just get us some lettuce and some radishes and some chard and kale and spinach. Got some little tomatoes coming on. Onions. So I just can't tell you enough. Please, everybody, if it's nothing but in containers, grow you some food. Let's talk about dealing with onion scapes. So I went out to the garden earlier and I noticed that some of my onions, uh, I had quite a few of these onion scapes. And you know, if it was time for them to go to seed and stuff, you would leave them. But my onions have a lot of growing to go do, so your garlic will do this too. And what you want to do is you want to cut these off. You don't want to cut any of the other leaves off, but you want to cut this scape off. And you see right here is what will bloom, and that's where your seeds are. But if you leave this on, on the, the onion or your garlic, what it does is it makes your onion think, okay, it's time to stop growing. And it doesn't put no more energy into the bowl. So, you want to cut these off so the energy will just keep going to your, your bulbs of your, of your onions or your garlic. Now, what I do, I tell you they smell so good, and these are wonderful, is you just wash them, and I'm just going to chop them up. And then I'm going to dehydrate them, and I'll have uh, dehydrated onions for cooking or... They'd be really good on top of a baked potato or anything like that. So don't ever, you know, let these go to waste. And if your onions aren't ready to go to seed, you need to cut them off. So that's just a little bit of information I thought I'd share with you. I'm out here on the, out, uh, the outdoor kitchen. I love being out here. It's been raining most of the day. It rained <laughs> all day yesterday. But I'm going to get these cut up, and I'm going to get them in my dehydrator. And uh, I'll have a lot of dehydrated onions. Potatoes. And I've had a lot of questions about the potatoes. So I'm going to tell you how I done mine. Last year we come in here and we and we I plowed a furrow about this deep and I put compost down the furrow and we did our first year of potatoes. And the deer last year kept them eight down, eight down. Every time they try to bloom, they'd eat them down and but we did make several potatoes in the end. I started these potatoes. This row right here was around the first week and the first of March. And I waited a week and I did this over here on this side in the second week. And you can tell that it didn't make much difference. They're about the same height. Some of them were a little slower coming up this year. I don't know if it was the cold and the damp or what was going on, but they were a little slower. Now out in the main garden, Miss Lori put 
about the, I don't know, middle of February, the 20th of February, she put in some in uh, plastic containers, pretty big containers. And they are two foot tall or taller. And they're, they're blooming, they're, they're gonna have potatoes. These potatoes should be ready somewhere around the 4th of July, usually somewhere around the 4th, usually when we dig in this area. If you're further north, it would be later. I would urge you to plant potatoes if you have the opportunity to plant them. They're not hard to grow. You can keep the animals out of them. If you can put them in a container, they're fine. They'll, they'll do well. I fertilized these one time with triple 13 fertilizer. And we come in here a couple of days ago, I, I guess it was yesterday actually, and I had some, uh, some more compost and I put it down and worked up and pulled up around the potatoes to give them uh, a little more bedding area for the potatoes. Um, I, like I say, I would recommend that you, people are asking up, you know, especially up in Ohio. I had a gentleman ask me about in Ohio and like I say, we normally plant these first week of March, around the first of March, the end of February. The old timers used to plant them in February and they'd mound up over them. And when they started to come through, they would take a, their horse and a drag and they would drag off the tops of them when they just started coming up. That's the way they used to do them. I don't know that it benefits you to do it that way. My experience is you're gonna have pot potatoes at the 4th of July no matter if you plant them in the 1st of March or the middle of February. But like I say, the ones in the containers are doing really well, but they are getting a lot of heat. They're black containers. They're getting a lot more heat than these potatoes have had. These potatoes are just now starting to really grow. But I would recommend you growing you some food. I don't care if you have to put it in containers or, or uh, the biggest pot you can find or a five gallon bucket. I would recommend growing it. You need to learn to grow if you haven't grown. It's not hard. You have to experiment with certain things, but you can all grow something fresh to eat. It don't matter. It don't have to be a big garden. Just a few items to grow and put on your table.